Well, hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Civilization VI Gathering Storm. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day, because I'm certainly excited for what is to come. I say that as though I know what's coming. I say that as though I have a solid plan of what I'm going to do here. I don't. I just know that at some point in the next couple of hours, I'd very much like to go to war. Interesting that Tamiris already wants me to go to war with the Chinese. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Because I don't quite have troops yet. When I get troops, no problem. We'll go to war with the Chinese. Tamiris is neighbors with the Chinese as well. I'm not, so... Be very easy for me to uh, come out on top of that situation. Let's go ahead and say that duplicates of... Let's see, what luxury resource? Let's go for wine. I have a lot of wine, so duplicates of that giving amenities would be fantastic. And more production towards buildings, let's say, in the industrial zone. I'm going to put a little bit of points, a couple of points into that. Let's see if that works out. Hopefully we get the bonus wine, since we have quite a lot of that. We didn't. We got silk, and we got more production towards the city center. So absolutely nothing that's going to benefit me, meaning that I just get to sit on my diplomatic favor. That's no problem. I am quite okay with sitting on diplomatic favor. Now, let's see here. We have a trade route available. We could send it over there for a bit of bonus science. We could send it to China for even more science, which is very, very tempting. But I think we'll keep the bonus bit of uh, gold there. Keep the gold income going because we're sitting on 4,100 right now. That's going to be great for the war effort. Especially the income being where it is. That's going to be good for the war effort as well. Now, let's see. In terms of civics, we have the naturalist, a late-game civilian who can create a single national park to attract tourists must be purchased with faith. I don't think so. Declare a colonial war? Interesting. That is two technology eras behind me. I actually kind of like the idea of doing that. I think I'll go for opera and ballet, though. Let me see here. Yeah, we could totally declare a colonial war on... Actually, no, I don't think we... Hold on. Could we declare a colonial war on Musa there? So he is Renaissance. I guess I'm industrial. No, I couldn't. There is a chance that if I can get up into modern before he moves into industrial, we could then declare a colonial war. Don't think we'll bother with that. We're going to get Alan Turing, which will trigger the Eureka moment for computers and one random technology. Absolutely. Let's see here. So you need to be down there if you wouldn't mind. Apparently I can't send you down there, so we'll send you to that one instead, and then we'll claim you. Okay, my knowledge of steel and computers has been boosted. Let's continue, because I do believe we are two turns away from a commercial hub in Paris, and we are seven turns away from a university in Bordeaux. 24 turns away from a factory in Ruin, which is a bit of a pain, and then 8 in Toulouse as well. That should be alright, though. We can make that work. Let's see. You will give me diplomatic favor. That's, a, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's no problem. You can have some wine. I don't see why not. Are we about to get that commercial hub? I believe we are, which should give us... Yeah, there we go. They say that people are drawn to the commercial hub of Paris just for the excitement of buying and selling in the market. But the money is pretty good, too. It absolutely is. We're up to 75.7 .7 gold per turn. We're now working a musket men. So what's Paris? What's the queue here? So musket men, then the Forbidden City, Entertainment Complex, Shipyard, Factory. I'll tell you what. Let me swap those around just a little bit. So that we can get that factory sooner than later. It's going to take 15 turns, which is okay. We could throw this stuff here in as well. And we should probably throw the market in too. Have we got... We haven't got Renaissance Walls either. So let's go for those. Then we'll go for a bit of bonus culture as well, I think. And we should be good. Paris is going to be busy for a while. Ruin can get a bank. Toulouse can not do much. Oh, we could get a university, though, in uh, Toulouse, which is very interesting. I might have to do that. We would lose this tile, though, which is production. But bonus science? Plus three bonus science? Other civilizations' trade routes to the city provide plus one science and plus one gold to them. 
plus two science for every trade route to this city. Domestic trade routes give an additional plus one faith to this city. Yeah, this seems like a very, very useful thing. I kind of want it, but I kind of don't want to get rid of the production on this tile. But that bonus science seems too good to be true. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it. It's gonna take a little while, but we're gonna do it. We also have room for more traders, so let's go ahead and grab one there. Let's also grab one in Ruin when we get the chance. And I guess Bordeaux as well. We can grab some traders. And that'll keep us busy for the next couple of turns. Interesting. You want to give me gold for that? I'm going to say no. I'd quite like to keep my culture, mate. I'm going to be totally honest. I'd quite like to keep it. And I guess we'll just skip through the next couple of turns and see what comes of it. All right. We got ballet. That's fine. Let's go nationalism, I suppose. And I'm really, I'm really wanting... Oh, hello. So is this, is this the new... No, this isn't a new trader. This is the old one. So we could be, we could repeat that route if we wanted to. I'm almost tempted to go to Washington for the bonus science. I think we will do that. Plus one extra science is not a bad thing at all. Yeah, I'm going to say no, Teddy. You're all right, mate. You're all right. You might want to look into a few more amenities for your citizens. I don't think they're enjoying your rule. I know. I know. All right. They're miserable. I'm aware of this. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Give me a break, China. Get out of here. Go on. Scram. I just want my musket, man. I just want... <laughs> I honestly just want to prepare for war, if I'm completely honest. That's kind of where I'm at. Your cities are so close. Your troops are so strong. You're making me nervous. Well, isn't that... That sucks to be you, doesn't it? You still want this war as well? No, Tamiris. It's not happening. Let's see. So we got military science. That's nice. We have great purses. We have two of them. All right. Plus five combat strength and plus one movement to industrial and modern era naval units. Ugh. We'll pass on you. And then some unique works. Absolutely. Send you over there and claim. And then we can claim again at some point in the near future. We also, we could send you down there, actually. I think we'll do that. We might as well. But we are also working on the new university down here, which is beautiful. So let's keep that going for as long as we can. And I guess, yeah, send you all the way down there. Off you go, mate. Have a fantastic time in the uh, in the south there. And we're about to get our musket men as well. I'm, I'm honestly a little... So it's been a day since I recorded the last bunch of episodes. I guess I should mention that. I recorded them literally yesterday, and then I'm recording another bunch today. I'm already sort of... I'm trying to just recap where I was. That's that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at. So we're about to get these musket men. Then we're going for the factory. So I guess we should move the musket men onto our border. Now that's interesting. What is that? That's an encampment they have done there. Okay. A little nervous about that, gonna be honest. Do they have a a canal up here as well? Uh I guess we'll put my musket men on the border there. Gonna move these ones down just a little bit and fortify. And I don't think I I uh, I don't know if I wanna go to war with these guys. I really don't. We can have an American embassy, though. That's fine. Uh, horses for favor and gold. and Yeah, absolutely. Why not? I don't see why not. We're not really using the horses right now, so it'll definitely be a bit of a, uh, a bit of a benefit to us to have the horses. I have satisfied his agenda of standing army. Good. Good to know, mate. I'm really glad you're happy because I have no idea why your agenda should matter to me. Let's see. More production towards wonder construction? Absolutely. We will 100% send you, uh, let's see. So you can go down here. And you can help me build this university. Which, I have no idea how much production it actually needs to be finished. But, 480 something production? Don't mind if I do. You guys go ahead and fortify there for the time being. You, oh, I could get so much gold. I'm not doing it though. I want to keep the culture. I'm absolutely trying to uh, to keep the culture here. Now let's see. Are you? You are my great person. Go there and activate. Hey, there we go. 
Well All right, we got the university. Oh, that's fantastic. That is fantastic news. That's going to... It's going to be a nice little bonus to... Uh, nice little bonus to science there. 77.7 science in the top left. I've satisfied... I'm fun-loving, apparently. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. We can actually use this guy again for some wonders. Isn't that interesting? Let's see here. Have we got any other wonders we could throw together? What are we what are we going to be working on? We are going to be working on the Forbidden City, I suppose. So I guess we could we could throw that in here and then have him go up and try and finish it. Toulouse isn't doing too much at the minute. I would love to get Oxford University. I really would. I think I could have swore we had it queued up for construction here at one point. Tell you what, we'll throw Oxford University up there. And we'll sort of throw it. Oh, that's a bit of a time to build it though, isn't it? Is there anything else in here? I mean, that's that's going to be super useful for me. That's culture. That's faith. Plus one diplomatic victory point when built. Okay. You know what? That's actually kind of tempting. That is actually kind of tempting. Yeah, I I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to build the Statue of Liberty out there. Might take a while for Paris to get it done, but diplomatic victory point, don't mind if I do. Forbidden City is going to give culture. I'm going to swap those around. Because we're doing okay with culture at the minute. Plus one diplomatic victory point already is going to be super good if we can grab that. So, yeah, let's let's kind of just send this guy back up to Paris. So just back up that way. And we can wait for everything to get sorted. Let's see. Industrial era is done in nine turns. That's fine. Let's, what is Scorched Earth going to do here? Total war. Whatever that is, military organization, urbanization will give me a neighborhood. That's probably a good idea because I think that does give me, that does give me housing. We also have a governor title here. So let's see. We could, what can we do here? I don't really think we need religious strength, to be honest. We can't really reassign you anywhere. I guess we'll promote you. Sure. I, I I guess. That's 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 fine. That'll do. We also haven't assigned you anywhere. I guess we'll put you in Toulouse. Why not? So we'll go for that. We'll see what's going on here. So you have arrived. You can go ahead and sleep for a little bit, mate, until we're starting to build the Statue of Liberty. Industrial era aims and <laughs> what the hell was that? Industrial era ends era ends wow wow cannot speak at the minute uh let's pass on you we don't really need nelson oh that's a lot of gold that is a lot of gold for culture no i'm holding on to everything i'm not letting the culture go it's not happening let's just keep moving forward that's also a decent amount of gold and diplomatic favor again not happening now, what have we got here? This is a trader. Interesting, interesting. Could we... What would be the best for science? What are we looking at here? Plus two right there. Plus two right there with a bit more gold. So I think we'll go for that one because it'll give bonus production as well. And then coal power plant. More production and also provides electricity. That's very tempting. The commercial hub's also kind of tempting, but I think we'll go coal power plant, and then we'll throw up the queue, and we'll say... Now, the water park would give me amenities. How's Toulouse doing in terms of amenities? It's not doing very good. So I guess multi-queue, water park. Throw a water park back there. And let's see. Entertainment will also give us amenities, so throw that back there. Commercial hub could go up here for a bit more money coming in. We're really ignoring holy sites. I probably shouldn't be, but I we are, basically. That's that's kind of where we're at. 
so let's see. What else? Is there anything else that we need? We could do things like field cannons and bombards. Honestly, we probably need one of those anyway. I think I'll throw a field cannon in as well. By the time we have those, it'll probably be wartime. That's a good 50 turns away. Uh, you are the preeminent builders of wonders. I don't think you are. After all, I kind of built it. You kind of didn't. So, <laughs> basically. Until you've walked a mile in Interesting. That way, he'll be barefoot. So, we actually just got the rifleman. Fantastic. We're going for sanitation, not. We are a little bit behind here. We are a little bit behind. I'd very much like a battleship or artillery. Very interesting. We need more science. We absolutely do. I'm actually kind of tempted to say forget economics for the time being. We have enough gold, so... A steam power is kind of recommended. We can get the canal. Oh, those guys have the canal already, so they have that. Okay. So if we want infantry, we need economics. And to be honest, I kind of want... I might, I might skip some of these, although I need sanitation apparently for anti-tank crows. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm, we're going to need artillery. We're going to need refining. And then we need combustion, because that's where tanks are going to come in. And then... We could go for advanced ballistics. I think combined arms might be the way to go there. Because that'll give us uranium. Then eventually we'd be getting towards the Manhattan Project and all that kind of stuff. In the atomic era. That's getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, though. But I think by then, we could probably turn around and head back and start looking at sanitation, steam power, flight. We're gonna need electricity. I, I kind of want rocketry and all that, honestly. I kind of want all of this. Rocketry would give us more from quarries as well. We're gonna need advanced ballistics and plastics. We'll need... Computers. That's probably not a great lineup I've got there, but that's fine. I'm thinking that'll do for the time being. We really need to double down on, let's see. So what are you making right now? You're building... What are you building? More envoys. Why do we need it? Why am I building that? We don't need envoys anymore. Interesting. Huh. I don't think there are any city-states left. I'm going to cancel that. And we're going to go straight for Oxford University. And we're actually going to use you to try and finish it quicker. We really, we really don't need... We just don't need envoys right now. It's kind of that simple. So you go there. We'll claim you. We're not under 29 turns on Oxford University. We could still improve some tiles around here, I think. So what I'm thinking we'll do is we'll purchase the sheep. We'll purchase the fish. That's whales, not fish. We'll purchase the fish. And then there are some things we could do here as well. So we could purchase some builders as well. So those builders can go and prove that tile, that tile, and that tile, and give us more, uh, more production in Bordeaux. So let's see. Let's start by having you go there, I guess, or there, or well, there, I guess. We'll start on the left side and work across. So let's hope this actually works out the way I'd like it to. So you go there. That'll give me some production. We're down to twenty-five turns. Next turn, you go there. Uh, nope, not happening. Get lost. Get lost. Nope. Bye-bye. There we go. You go up there. The modern era. Are we in a dark age or a normal age? Normal age. That's fine. What I like about cities Let's see. Complete a trade route. Like Absolutely. Urbanization. Everything. Done. 
I'm kind of skipping through some things here because I really need to focus on the production. 22 turns. Uh, we have more fish we can we can work with. That's fine. So we'll head done that way next. Civic wise, I think mass media. And let's see. My progress towards class struggle has advanced considerably. That doesn't sound like a good thing. That doesn't sound like something you want. To be honest. Oh, hello. Okay. Okay, okay. So this is where we get to start voting on diplomatic victory. This is why I saved my points. Although Teddy Roosevelt has a considerable amount of them himself. Um, I'm going to say... Less loyalty in... I'm going to say Greece. I don't know how well that'll work. I'm going to ban the production of... Oh, God. Nuclear power plants, I guess. I don't really have a care in that one. And I'm going to say... Give me... Two diplomatic victory points. And then for the World's Fair... We'll see if we can do something in that. Um, I'm going to vote one more time. So let's see if I can get myself two diplomatic victory points. I really hope so. I'm really, really hoping. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we've banned nuclear power plants. I'm getting two diplomatic victory points. Who voted for who here? So everyone pretty much voted for themselves, which makes sense. I put the most votes in for myself. That's good. Okay. So, the Chinese are about to have less loyalty. That's very interesting. So, oh, wow. So, Teddy Roosevelt voted... Oh, hold on. So, he... voted for A, which is 20% 20, 20 faster population, but less loyalty in his own city. Okay. I don't know if that's... I don't want less loyalty, honestly. I'm assuming, yeah, so Tamiris voted for the Chinese as well. That's gotta be a subtle, like, dig at the Chinese there. Did anyone else vote for me at all here? No? And then down here, everyone kind of voted for this. So now we have a little competition going. So... The gold tier will give me a hundred great person points. And if I generate great people points per turn, I'll I'll sort of be winning-ish. So let's just get on with it. Let's see what's going on here. Go ahead and get me some fish. 17 turns towards Oxford University. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Can I buy more tiles? So I can't buy that one. That's a bit of a shame. I... Could put another boat out here, which is fine. I can't grab that one. Okay. I'd like that one. I don't know if I can do much on it, though. So I think we're probably fine as is. I think we'll just buy another builder. Because, again, Oxford University is kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big deal. Um, let's send you guys out there. And this is... Oh... Send an archaeologist here to an, excavate an artifact which will provide culture and tourism when brought back to your city. Okay. So how do I get an archaeologist? I have no idea how to do this, actually. I don't seem to have one. So that's projects, that's purchase, that's production. You know what? I think we're good. I think we're good. Apparently, we can also finish this at some point. I don't really care for it, so we're all right. Let's see. You want coal? I'm going to say no. That's that. That's going to be a no from me. That's also going to be a no from me. Thank you very much for the offer, though. Well, let's see. Let's just keep going to the next turn. These guys have... Uh, <laughs> Tamiris, no! We're not going to war with the Chinese right now, madam. All right, we're down to 14 turns for Oxford University. That seems pretty good to me. We could send these builders down here and actually uh, turn that into a lumber mill as well. Oh, Zanzibar! We do! Oh, my God. Oh, my God! 
I have so many envoys. Let me send, uh, let me send 10 of them. Ooh. Okay. We found a natural wonder. And also Mount Kilimanjaro. Interesting. So Zan's... Oh, wow. So this is where the Congo happens to be. So the Congo is down there. They have some pretty sizable land. And then Zanzibar is right here. Is that... Hold on. I've also discovered... Right. Interesting. So there are more city-states. Right. And then Buenos Aires is over there. Okay. I'll tell you what. Just because I hate Pericles, let's go for... Tw you know what? All 14 into Buenos Aires. Confirm placement. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. So Greece no longer has this... Uh oh, hello. So that's the Aztecs down there. Interesting. We meet at last. Yeah, get lost, mate. You're all right. Oh, Greece isn't happy. Greece isn't happy. What a surprise. We took something off them through politics and they're like, wah, wah. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Did we just get a coal power plant as well? I think we might have. Uh, yeah, yeah, we absolutely did. Okay. So now we're working towards replaceable parts. It is better that you lack ambition to claim land because I believe you lack the acumen to rule what you would take. All right, Teddy. Yeah, sure, you can have an embassy, why not? That's, that's no problem there, mate. No problem at all having an embassy. Hello? What? Why have barbarian frigates just rolled up on my... Oh, there was a massive barbarian camp over there, wasn't there? Um... Right. Let me upgrade you to a field cannon. And let me move you into Bordeaux. Because we're gonna need we're gonna need builders now to fix a lot of things, aren't we? That's about to be a thing. And that's gonna be an absolute pain. Uh let's see. Random technology from the Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Recruit you and I guess send you over there? No? What about you? Where can we send you? Up that way? I guess up that way works. All right, builders, just sort of sleep for a minute. You're going to need to go out and fix things. Yeah, what a surprise. I hate barbarians. I really hate barbarians. Really strongly, deeply, and passionately hate, hate barbarians. Right. Can I uh, go ahead and activate this, please? Nuclear fission. All right, we've advanced our knowing of that. That's that's great. My cities are so close. My troops are strong. Yes, they are. Okay. Are you denouncing me? You've declared a surprise war? Hello? We've apparently also circumnavigated the globe. That's nice. Um. <laughs> right. They've got musketmen. Really? Okay. 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 This just got interesting. Um. Let's head down this way. Let's, uh, I don't, I don't know what to do here with this trade route. Let's go to, uh, Ruin for that bit of extra production. Let's recruit you, I guess. Builders need to go out there. Musketmen, I'm gonna bring you home, I think. We'll bring you down towards Ruin, because we are about to get into quite a fight by the looks of it. Not quite sure where that, where that guy can, uh, can settle, so just put you there and sleep. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Well, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. I don't know if Pericles is necessarily at war with them. However, would you be interested by chance? Oh no, I can't invite you to the war. That's a pain. Okay, okay. That's all right then, never mind. I was hoping I could get you to uh, join this war with me. What about you? 
Would you be interested in joining this war? No? Okay, maybe we have to wait a turn before we try and invite someone to it. Oh, man, this is a, that's a bit of a pain. I can't believe they've just declared a surprise war. 